It's getting increasingly difficult to stand out in the smartphone crowd, but if one person can do it, it's Carl Pei. The ex-co-founder of OnePlus has been busy of late, creating nothing. To say there's been hype around the nothing phone would be an understatement. However, while drip-fed leaks, snappy social media posts, and an exclusive launch via StockX have helped play their part in building a crescendo, the real test for nothing begins now. With just a pair of headphones to its name currently, the company is now preparing to break into an extremely competitive mid-range smartphone market. The Nothing Phone represents the real beginning of founder Carl Pei's ambitions with this new brand. But has all the hype been worth it? In this video, we're taking a deep look into the Nothing Phone, what makes it very special, the untold features, and if you should be excited about it. First off, the design and build. Perhaps the most powerful weapon Nothing has in its arsenal is its refreshing design. Carl Pei and Nothing has boasted a lot about it in promos. The company claims phones today all look exactly the same and that tech companies aren't innovating anymore, so consumers are left to settle with boring looking one size fits all devices. Although it's a bit of a controversial take, most people agree that smartphones aren't as exciting as they used to be a few years ago, and that it's becoming increasingly hard to find notable differences between two Android phones. Nothing Phone's design is clearly different, with its transparent back and white glyph interface LEDs which are sure to attract geeks and enthusiasts. Put side by side with most Android phones, the phone will definitely stand out, from the back at least. The LED displays on gaming phones offer an amazing feeling that the Nothing Phone is a slightly fringe option, and its design is very much sitting on the edge and looking in rather than trying to appeal to a mass audience. The angular aesthetic is highly reminiscent of recent iPhone designs, even down to the shape of the buttons. Is this nothing's ploy to reflect Apple's quality in a cheaper device and try and sell it to the world? Or was this an OEM design that was originally designed to look like the iPhone that's been adapted by nothing? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Next, let's talk about the 6.5 inch OLED display. The display on the nothing phone is flat and befitting of that iPhone-like design with a neat bezel trimming the edges and equal on all sides. Unlike the iPhone, however, there's no ugly notch. Instead, we have a left-mounted punch hole for the front camera, which is perhaps similarly out of place. There's also a fingerprint scanner under the glass, something Apple hasn't done yet. And our first impression of the display here is that it's perfectly vibrant and packs plenty of punch. That's now typical of this segment of the market, of course, where OLED is now common. However, offering an adaptive refresh rate isn't as common. It's not the same as you'll find on flagship devices, as it only runs from 60 to 120 hertz, depending on the content you're viewing. But it is a notable inclusion that the market will be putting this to the test over the coming weeks. The same is true of HDR content. Consumers and tech YouTubers will be comparing the Nothing Phone to plenty of phones in order to properly gauge just where it sits on the scale. The hardware loadout of the Nothing Phone sets it out as a mid-range device. The Snapdragon 778G Plus is a 5G SoC, meaning you have fast connectivity for data and plenty of power. This isn't sitting in the same space as flagship phones, neither in terms of the power or battery capacity, but we've seen some really impressive mid-range devices over the past couple of years. The difference between flagship and mid-range in daily use is usually minimal, and in many devices you'll find that the lower power hardware offers better stamina. It's often less power hungry until you push it to run hard like when playing games, for example. It's definitely not the fastest charging device out there on paper, though there's actually no charging brick in the box either, just the USB-C cable. Support for wireless charging gives you another option. Mind, while there's even reverse wireless charging available in the rear of the phone to help boost your headphones on the fly if needed, it's slightly rare to get that on a mid-range phone. Next, let's discuss the cameras. So there are actually two cameras on the rear of the Nothing phone and it seems the aim here is to deliver two good cameras rather than one good camera, and a lot of the lenses for the sake of it. This is a slight departure for devices in this position, which often feature a quad camera system that goes largely unused. Foregoing this is something we generally applaud, and we're pleased that nothing is keeping things realistic. One of the sneaky advantages of the Glyph interface is that it can also double up as a fill light to provide better illumination when snapping pictures, spreading light more evenly on closer subjects. There's also a red LED on the rear of the phone, which ensures the subject can see when you're recording them. Pretty cool. The main camera on the Nothing offers all the common modes you'd expect in a smartphone, including night mode. 
The front camera, on the other hand, is a whopping 16 megapixels. That's four more than the current iPhone 13 at only 12 megapixels. Next, let's discuss the software and UI that the Nothing Phone uses. At launch, the Nothing Phone will feature Android 12, and will have four years of security updates. That's pretty good for an Android device. The good thing here is that the Nothing Phone will launch on an almost pristine version of Android. There's no bloat or additions, and in that sense, it's closer to the experience of a Google Pixel than the other mid-rangers. And as we mentioned earlier, this will go head-to-head -head with the Pixel 6a, which is where Nothing's tweaks want to win you over. The quick setting that lets you toggle cellular, Wi-Fi, or the hotspot, that's much simpler than the stock Android 12 offering and works so much better, addressing a really simple pain point. Nothing has also infused the phone with its dot matrix system lettering and a few cool wallpapers to try and define the Nothing experience a little better. And there are little touches that reflect this retro cool feel, like the tape style voice recorder. Now, of course, there will be plenty of updates to come bringing more functionality, and one feature that Nothing has been talking about is seamless integration with Tesla. So you'll have quick setting to get started with your car, as well as widgets, including the Nothing NFT gallery. Do mid-range phone buyers also buy NFTs, and do they also buy Teslas? I think you can make the argument that plenty of people that buy Teslas are also interested in NFTs. Now, of course, one of the most important factors of this device, it's competitive pricing. No matter how impressive the phone is or how great Nothing's marketing is, at the end of the day, if the phone is simply not worth it, it wouldn't take long for buyers to lose interest. After all, it's one thing to be excited about a product and a whole other thing to actually buy it. The Nothing phone actually starts at just 475 for the base variant, carrying 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Pretty good. That's not cheap, but it's also not overpriced for the specs and features the phone offers. Overall, our first impressions of the Nothing Phone have been really positive. There is something different about this phone, and certainly it's in a position to shake up the mid-range market. What really comes through, however, is the quality of the build, the interesting design, and the clean Android experience, which comes with some interesting tweaks. There's definitely more we need to investigate, but there's also certainly plenty to be excited about. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching and drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. This is Business Loop. Have an amazing day.